Um, so I grew up in Manhattan, Kansas, um, till about the age 17. At the age 17, um, what a lot of kids are doing and a, uh, and, and a decision that a lot of kids are having to make, I had to make, and that was, do we do I stay here in my current situation or do I make a move and transfer and change my life and sacrifice? And that's what um, the decision between myself and parents was made. And so we went to Highland Park and um, I felt like, um, you know, I sit here and say to you, I grew up in Manhattan, but a lot of what I learned about life and a lot of my growth took place at 18 years old, between 17 and 18 in that last year in high school at Highland Park. So um, graduated from Highland Park in 2005, um, loved it there, went from Highland Park to um, Washburn, and, and that was where um, – you know, my journey started in terms of while I'm here talking to you right now. To me, what Washburn was to me was like an, a, a simple college life that leads you straight to success. Like it's a direct line. Like if you just do these things, you can you'll be successful. You know, there isn't a whole bunch of distractions or, or veer off lanes that you can take there. I was a football head. I was I was eating tilapia. I was I was going to Red Lobster and, and working and coming home at 11 o'clock at night and then going to the field, jumping over the fence and running hundreds on the field and then going home, going to sleep. And I was going to class the next day. You know, um, I, I was fully dedicated to my craft. There was never a plan B. Like there was never a thought in my head from a little kid. Like I remember telling people when I was a little kid, I was going to play in the NFL and never in my head did I really believe I was ever going to do anything else but that. And so I never even looked outside that window. You know, it was just tunnel vision of how do I get to the NFL? This is the work I need to put in. This is the way I need to look. So this is how I got to eat. This is how I got to sleep. And that was kind of my lifestyle. And I knew that if I got up and I went really hard every day in terms of the way I trained and the way I ate and the way I slept. And then, you know, in terms of work in order to feed my feed myself and, and, and pay my rent as a, as a D2 athlete that, you know, that was my focus and that's what I did. And getting my degree um, is a big, is a big shout out to my parents, you know, because um, I didn't want to go to Washburn. I wanted to go to Butler Community College or Coffeeville because I thought that would give me the best chance to go wherever I wanted to, to play football, which would give me the best chance to go to the NFL. And my parents are like, no, you know, at right now, we know Washburn is offering you a scholarship where you can go get an education. You can get it at a, at a low price and um, damn near free. And we can um, support that and you can play football there. And, and, and if you're good enough, you can make it to the NFL from anywhere. And they believe that and they supported that. And I would say a lot of my work ethic has to do with Washburn. A lot of my work ethic was developed at Washburn. And um, I think a lot of that was me and just my drive and my goal and my one track mind. But also, I think um, the support I got there to be so aggressive in terms of my work. Craig Shurig is the first person that I ever heard say this kid has a chance to play at the next level. And that's when I really was like, OK, now it's time to put the push the put the pedal down to the metal, because if he says that I believe it's. Coaching the Los Angeles Chargers, um, I'm coaching the linebackers. It isn't about coaching. It isn't about um, football. I say it's about giving my knowledge to another young man, you know, and giving my knowledge to other men. So when I got done playing football in my whole life, playing football, I never wanted to be a coach. I thought all coaches were, were chumps and, you know, didn't want to be one, didn't want to. And I was sitting at home in 2018 and didn't have a job and was working on getting my insurance license, real estate license. And um, I started just going to high school practices around Sacramento, California, where I was staying at the time. I started going to just the different high school practices and I'm sitting at home like I have all this knowledge and it's just sitting in my head. Like I, I, I need to be giving that to these young men who are about to go through all the same things I went through. You know, I grew up my whole life thinking I'll play football, make money, and then I'll be a I'll be a dad. Like I can be at home with my kids. And um, 
Um, but then, man, I got into this coaching thing and I fell in love with just seeing these young men do great and and knowing that I could help them and, and giving knowledge to a young rookie that's coming to the league that doesn't know what's in front of him and he has no idea and being able to give him a couple a couple nuggets that might help him, you know, sift through the adversity a little bit better. And um, I've enjoyed it a ton. I would say uh, a big milestone is becoming a linebacker coach for the Chargers. I would say another milestone would be uh, being named captain of the NFC Championship for the San Francisco 49ers, playing in the Super Bowl in 2013, being named to a Hall of Fame in Shawnee County. That's pretty big. Playing in the UFL, being on an active roster in the NFL, putting on a Michael Wilhoy football camp at Washington University, like that was huge. A lot of what I do is camps, um, you know, work with work with high school kids. Like I love to go to high schools and just and just work with the kids. Nothing, nothing I do is structured. It's not like um, somebody's telling me this is what time and the date I have to be at the com community service. For me, you know, like it, that when I played, it was like I was community service player of the year in 2014 or 13. And that was structured and sent and you know, but usually it's just if something's going on, <clears throat> I want to be involved. You know, if something's going on, it's better in young people. Just, just tell me when and where, and, and I want to be involved. Probably say family one, workout two, three, read. Wife, um, met her in, in San Francisco, my uh, second year in the NFL with the Niners. We have a, a daughter that is four, Skyla, and we have a son that's one, and his name is Cruz. Family's everything to me. Um, when I'm not in here, I'm with the family, you know, like, I tell people all the time, like when I'm at work, I'm not mad at you. I'm just mad that I'm not with my family, <laughs> you know, like I want to go home and be with my kids. And, and then I love to work out. I love, I love um, the thought that um, I'm bettering my body, um, my mind and my soul by working out, you know, in reading and meditating. In my world is coaching, is family and is, and is my body. I'm honored and, um, you know, I feel like I'm emotional talking to you guys just because I think this just, you know, this is this is a to me a, a huge honor, you know, to be recognized. So um, I'm very thankful.